Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel. So, what are we doing today? Or I should say, what am I doing today? I'm 3D printing something. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what do I care? Well, I didn't plan on making this video, but while I was doing this, it occurred to me that a lot of you are into self-reliance, into homesteading, prepping, that kind of stuff, and you don't really want to rely on the things that may or may not be available. Uh, I don't know, uh, the power grid, uh, stores, you know, parts being available for whatever you're doing, okay? Now, I'm kind of the same way, and um, that's one of the reasons why I got the 3D printer. A while back, I was watching one of the videos by Robert Murray Smith. He's kind of the mad genius type deal things, and I really enjoy his content. And uh, he's not mad, he's a cool guy, yeah? But anyway, he makes videos about power generators and the heat and electricity and all this stuff, and I just love it. Now, a while back, he started uh, 3D printing. And I always thought, well, you know, 3D printing is for little plastic toys on your desk and they're not really useful. And whenever you buy one of these printers, it's a massive headache because the nozzle is too hot or not hot enough. The bed is not leveling, the filament's stuck, all that, right? Now that said, I got myself a bamboo 3D printer, not sponsored, right? Uh, and that's the one you're seeing right here, and he's actually doing something for me, and this is a live feed from a camera that's built inside the printer, right? So I can do whatever I want, and at the same time, keep an eye on what's going on. This is actually going to be a battery dispenser, but that's beside the point, right? So, the reason why I made this video is to explain that, um, you know, the whole 3D printing deal is... Um, it's, it's kind of an adult business now in the sense that you can literally make parts for your projects. I can make blades for a personal windmill to generate energy in my yard, right? I can make, um, I don't know, uh, parts for a mini uh, hydroelectricity uh, setup. I can make parts for I don't know what. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, but it's plastic. Well, you can print in plastic or well, PLA, but this printer also uh, prints in ABS, and ABS is super, super strong, and you can actually even print cogs to use in, uh, you know, when you're running small engines and that kind of thing, right? So, um, this thing is super fast, very, very fast, and what I like about it is plug and play, pretty much. It's like a 20 minute, taking out some screws and some protective stuff, and then you're ready to go, right? It does everything by itself. So if you're into self-reliance, if you want to make your own things, if you don't want to rely on availability in stores or stores being open at all, consider this. Now, one last comment, you're probably thinking, well, yeah, but you know, in order to do this, you need the electricity, right? Well, see that, right? Battery pack. Battery pack is more than sufficient to run the printer and also to run a, a laptop or a PC or whatnot. Software works locally. You can set it up in a way that you don't need any internet. So if everything goes down, you're still able to make your parts, right? If you are interested in one of these printers, and again, not sponsored, not making a penny off of this video, right? Other than YouTube ads. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want one, you can get one, right? That's it, that's all I wanted to share. If you want to see me print 3D stuff for projects on this channel, please let me know in the comments. All right, that's it for me. See you guys next time.